Alright guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to test the relays individually to confirm if they're stuck. And what happens is, if one of these relays gets too much voltage due to some kind of malfunction or you know power drop or power rush, one of these relays can be stuck open or closed so your lock will actually be permanently locked or unlocked and it doesn't actually show you that it's activated. See that it's red. That it's activated. So in other words, it's not being triggered here. It doesn't sense that it's actually triggered, but it'll just be locked or unlocked. So the easiest way to check it is basically with a voltmeter and you'll just simply turn it on to your voltage and then you'll take your two prongs and you just you're metering right here so the common and the normally open that's probably the easiest way to check it because when you pretty much stick your meter here I'm trying to manage to not get my finger but I still did hold on hold on we'll figure this out there we go so when you put this in here your voltmeter should be zero and if you just keep your voltmeter there and while your meter is there all you have to do is make a little jumper and you're gonna stick it into the first slot here and then you're shorting it there you go so you can actually see that the relay is lit up so right now this should be powered when you meter the normally open and we got power so that means this relay which is actually not that one it's this one this is working properly so you'll just do the same thing going down the line and you can just meter to verify that each of these relays is turning on and turning off so in the next relay since I already have a wire there and instead of you taking it out you can actually short the little little thing right there just stick your old thing right there and right there short it and it'll test your next relay so with two people it's a little easier somebody can hold the voltmeter somebody can meter this or if you want to you can just pull this out and do it yourself but that's how you would check to see if they're individually working properly I did have a different board that I just replaced this with where all of them were not showing up as working but if you were to put um, a short over here the LED would turn on but it would not actually click it would just constant power all the time so that's how you would check for a stuck relay